I'm Jakob. I'm a part of Hello Earth. Um, and I'm Vera, and I'm also part of Hello Earth. In Hello Earth, we've been making um, immersive works, like participatory works, uh, the last 10 years. And so we're based in Copenhagen, mm -hmm. in Denmark. And right now we are in the DNA Festival in Pamplona, huh? where we just uh, finished one of the overnight experiences called The Night, visioning a post-capitalist society while we sleep. Uh, we were very interested in the night as a space which is unused. Uh, we are thinking maybe we could use this, um, the night, this unused space, this um, room in our house which we walk into every night when we come out in the morning and we don't really know what, what went on in there. Maybe we could use uh, this space uh, for some kind of opening. something very basic just by sleeping in the same space at least in the western uh -huh. culture uh -huh. like even if you wouldn't do anything um, something is different in the morning yeah and i think it's something to do with also trust uh -huh. because you have to have trust to, to relax, sleep yeah. to let go to relax yeah. so you um, so you have to trust yeah. do different activities um, yeah. throughout the evening yeah. and then we and then we try to focus on on letting go together see like what it could produce as a, or what it could um, unravel as yeah. a collective space if this is a collective space that we go into with uh, attention yeah. and yeah. with a sensitivity yeah. The experiment is also a bit like, where do we wake up in the morning from that space? Like, how do we think together or feel mm -hmm. together or sense together after we had no agenda, basically, mm -hmm. or after we tried yeah. to give in and give up? Like in, in some uh, Asian tradition, Buddhist tradition, they say like there's this moment that is very much similar to when you die. Mm -hmm. Like you have to let go in the sense like your identity mm -hmm. goes away for a moment and you travel into a space that most people don't have any control of what is happening there, like when we go into our dreams. Mm -hmm. And then your ego is slightly re um, relaxed yes. mm -hmm. at that point. <laughs> and we were thinking like in terms of also capitalism, that okay, there's all the material things that yeah. relate to capitalism, but there is also this sense of self and how we relate to ourselves that is producing the structures that we live in. Yeah. Yeah. So, so with this proposal, we're also like uh, investigating, like how does how do those two things relate to each other, yeah. and how what can the night then teach us in a way? We were kind of inspired by, um, for example, in, Abor in Aboriginal culture, they have this saying like, um, like what we create in our uh, daily life in the day life, is just a consequence of our dreams. Yeah. Thinking like that, the immateriality is producing materiality and mm -hmm. not necessarily the other way around. Thinking yeah. uh, society, thinking social structures, thinking uh -huh. that it comes eventually from the relation of how we relate to ourselves and to each other. Okay, we just provide a very clear path and mm -hmm. then in that path eventually some collectivity may unfold or not. Yeah. Yeah. But it kind of showed us that it unfolds. We just kind of, we really put knowledge together from different strands mm -hmm. that we came across while studying this. And of course, one of our backgrounds is somatics and is movement and is dance. And, yeah. and, um, uh, and like in, in actually any work we do, we always work with this idea of the sensitive, sensitive participant. Uh -huh. So that the sensitivity is not only mental, but it's also bodily. Uh -huh. And how to bring people into a either altered or heightened state of sensitivity. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and especially for people that don't have a bodily practice, these things are quite new terrain. Like they are quite, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they open a, a source that is not so present in our daily lives. But the body is something that can really produce new knowledge or new states of situations or new states of being. And then also, like in this context of this piece, like what it produces amongst us, yeah. like if that is taken into account, if yeah. that is not excluded, yeah. and that it helps that kind of for me, like post-capitalist yeah. notion of what, huh. what a community, how a community can yeah. act and live together. You know. Yeah. <laughs>